वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद नवीद एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड डबल इंटीग्रल ओवर आ रीजन बाय कन्वर्टिंग एन टू पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स नाउ इन दिस पार्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन एक्स वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू वेरिएशन ऑफ वाई इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू अंडर द रूट टू एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर एंड एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई इक्वल टू अंडर द रूट एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर नाउ और फर्स्ट चैलेंज इज टू फाइंड द लिमिट ऑफ दिस रीजन इन पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स सो इन पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स वी नो दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू आर कॉस थीटा वाई इज इक्वल टू आर साइन थीटा साइन थीटा एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वेयर एंड एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर अंडर द रूट इज इक्वल टू आर नाउ For the given region, x varies from zero to two, and y varies from zero to under the root two x minus x square. That is, x varies from zero to two. Y varies from zero to two x minus x square under the root. Now we can write y is equal to two x minus x square under the root. By squaring both sides, we get y square equal to two x minus x square. Now we can write it as x square minus two x. Plus y square is equal to zero. Now, by completing square method, as the coefficient of x is minus two, half of the coefficient of x becomes minus one, and square root of minus one is one. So, in order to complete in the square, uh, we add and subtract one. So, adding and subtracting one, we get x square minus two x. Plus one, plus y square, minus one is equal to zero. Now we can write it a uh, it as as it becomes perfect square that is x minus one whole square plus y square is equal to. Now we shift constant term to right hand side, which is equal to one. Now this uh, represents a circle of uh, radius one having center at x, uh, at one comma zero. That is, this region represents a circle having center at one comma zero. One comma a zero is center, and uh, radius is also equal to one unit. As the center is at one comma zero, now the value of x at this point is x is equal to x is equal to two. That is the diameter, and At this point, x is equal to two, and x is equal to zero at origin. Now, this upper portion of circle, which is semi-circle, along this, y is equal to two x minus x square 
under the root and for this portion which is below x axis y is equal to minus of 2x minus x square under the root. Now, as x varies from 0 to 2, we can see that x varies from 0 to 2 and y varies from 0 to under the root 2x minus x square. This is y equal to 0. Now, this is the portion or the region along which x varies from 0 to 2 and y varies from 0 to under the root 2x minus x square. Now, we find the limit of this portion in polar coordinates as y is equal to 2x minus x square. Now, we can write it as y square is equal to 2x minus x square, which implies x square plus y square is equal to 2x. x square plus y square is equal to r square and 2 x can be written as r cos of theta. Here r is cancel out which implies r is equal to 2 cos of theta. Now, in polar form this curve can be written as r is equal to 2 cos of theta. Now, in this portion, r varies from uh, 0 to 2 cos of theta, that is, as this curve uh, circle passes through origin, so at origin r is equal to 0, and for any point inside in this region, r is equal to uh, 2 cos of uh, at this boundary point r is equal to 2 cos of theta. So, r varies from uh, 0 to 2 cos of theta. Now, we find uh, variation of theta in this uh, portion for variation of theta as uh, theta is equal to 0 along x axis. So, theta varies from 0 to pi by 2, theta varies from 0 to pi by 2. So, in this region the variation of theta is from 0 to pi by 2 and r varies from 0 to 2 cos of theta. Now, we can solve given question by converting into polar coordinates. Now, in polar coordinate, we can write it, it as integration as theta varies from 0 to pi by 2, variation of r is from uh, 0 to 2 cos of theta, x square plus y square under the root, this is equal to r and dy dx can be written as r dr d theta. Now, we solve this integral, this is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2, 0 to 2 cos of theta r square dr d theta. Now, we can write it as 0 to pi by 2. First, we apply this integral along which r varies from 0 to 2 cos of theta. 
So, integration r square uh, dr is equal to r cube upon 3 and r varies from uh, 0 to 2 cos of theta d theta. This is equal to 1 by 3 integration 0 to pi by 2 2 cos of theta whole power 3 d theta. When we put upper limit it becomes 2 cos of theta power 3 minus lower limit is a 0. Now, this is equal to as 2 power 3 is 8. So, we write it as 8 by 3 integration 0 to pi by 2. Now, cos cube can be written as cos square theta and to cos of theta and d theta. Now, this is equal to 8 upon 3 integration 0 to pi by 2 cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. into cos of theta and d theta. This is equal to 8 upon 3 integration 0 to pi by 2 cos of theta minus sin square theta cos of theta and d theta. In next step we write it as 8 upon 3 integration 0 to pi by 2 cos of theta and d theta minus integration 0 to pi by 2 sin square theta sin square theta cos theta and d theta. This is equal to 8 upon 3 integration cos theta is equal to sin theta and theta varies from 0 to pi by 2. as derivative of sin is cos. So, we use power rule here, power rule of integration which is sin 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 theta and theta varies from uh, 0 to pi by 2. Now, this is equal to 8 upon 3. First, we put upper limit which is sin pi by 2 minus sin 0, sin pi by 2 minus sin 0 degree minus 1 upon 3 sin pi by 2 cube minus sin 0 degree whole cube. this is equal to 8 upon 3 
sin pi by 2 is 1 so 1 minus sin 0 is 0 minus 1 upon 3 again sin pi by 2 is 1 and 1 cube is 1 minus 0 this is equal to 8 upon 3 into 1 minus 1 upon 3 this is equal to 8 upon 3 and this is equal to 3 3 minus 1 2 upon 3 which is equal to 16 upon 9. I hope you liked this video. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.